is truly a joy to realize the Mushroom Kingdom has returned once again. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and this particular course as made by the Mushroom Kingdom is one of a simpler one, especially compared to the last one we saw, Bowser and Petey Piranha will kick things off here. And as you can see, it's, it's some rolling hills. This is like rolling hills stage one, really. We start with some big hills, go to some smaller ones, round it out on this last hairpin here, and then we have a little wide section where our cars can interact. But uh, well, Petey Piranha will win with a like a 952, but <laughs> struggle to be under the height limit. Peach and Waluigi. But as we kick things off here. I will notice the simplicity of this course, but the difficulty of it in its simplicity. Two lanes basically the whole way except for the end here, so it's going to be about speed. Oh, Peach on the near side accelerates into the fast area, into the fat track area. 8.66, that's the new best time. A good exit from the two lane section. Red Yoshi and Wario. But don't let the basicness deceive you. We'll also let you know, Diecast Racing TV, that uh, parallel satellite channel of races and fun, will be running a simultaneously Mario Kart tournament, now featuring 128 cars instead of just 64. Oh, close race to the end! Red Yoshi could not find the lead there at the end, 8.85. And Mario will take it. But that other channel will feature their own 64 set of Mario Kart racers. And then at the, the end of it all, the best from each channel will compete in the special finals. Kind of that special world of the Mushroom Kingdom. I remember how Super Mario always faces those special worlds after the regular ones. There's an 8.67. Donkey Kong will just be above the record that's been set so far. So look at it like that. Special finals one coming after... The regular bullet bill looking pretty nice there on the cart. Hopefully the aerodynamics of that bill will prove fast here. Not so much though against Mario who's way ahead. Big jumps through the hills, hairpin, bullet bill. Can he blast off into the fat track? No. 8.59, that's a new record for the Mario. But all that being said, again, pretty simple structure. 64 cars will be narrowed down over the course of these, um, I believe, eight videos. As we slowly make our way towards the finals, find the fastest cars from each of the set of 64. Each of the two channels will come together in the special finals, and we'll find the fastest of the fastest of the fastest, as we always do here on Races and Fun. Yoshi in that sports cube going to put things away nicely as well. 8.53 new record. Simplicity has made some trouble for some of these vehicles so far who just can't keep up. And and that's the thing when we're looking for speed here. And, and this is one of those tracks where we're truly praising speed and endurance. It's hard for some of those racers who thrive when there's a lot more action and agility required. Thwomp actually, oh, he's on two wheels and he loses the lead. Oh, and he's just broken down into the fat track. 9.78, so not even a uh, overwhelming record from the, uh, I believe the Tanuki Mario there. And Thwomp had it easily and lost his balance. Unfortunate. Too tall. Penguin in the Bowser bad way. Really getting a nice variety of Mario Kart cars here. A Penguin, Bullet Bill, Thwomp. I mean, these are really stretching into the more obscure parts. Well, it's the less main character -y parts of the Mushroom Kingdom, which is truly exciting. Penguin being quite fast in his belly, naturally coming across pretty fast on wheels, 8.84. And there you have it. There's your set of eight that have bested. And remember, these are coming from all different teams here. Sports Coop, Petey Piranha. Now we'll narrow it down from these eight. So we see 16 cars were sent out today. 
And, well, now we're down to eight. And then we'll, um, down to four. Even less. Petey Piranha, ooh, holding a nice lead. Tanuki Mario. Oh, <laughs> a little bit of pinball there at the end. Petey Piranha bounces back and forth, but still takes the win. Luckily, the nose of the car crosses, even though he knocks into the top every time. Wonder how long he'll parry for. B Dasher and Yoshi. So we're starting with 16, now we're to 8, now we're to 4, and um, so that will be 4 videos. So 16 cars times 4 is that 64, and then we'll have the finals after that, and then of course the special finals in the 6th video. We'll get a handle on that structure, always try to reiterate that in the first video. 850, that's actually a new record. I was really, really didn't give that the justice it deserved, but Yoshi really killed it out there. I'm sure it will get lower though. Mario Pipe Frame, Wario in the Circuit Special. Well, we're racing in four. Here we go, Mario in the pipe frame, way faster than the Wario here, even through that outside hairpin, looking good, and just dashes away. Pipe frame, that could be a new record, and it is not! It's tied with the old one, 8.5. Donkey Kong and Penguin. Let's see how they perform. Donkey Kong, Penguin. Penguin looking fast the last time. Almost broke a record, but came up a couple tenths short. But Dunk, uh, short. Donkey Kong looking a lot faster, though. Maybe Penguin on this inside line, though. He starts to catch up. He's a few lengths down. Here we go. Some acceleration, but no. I think he had trouble getting out of the two-lane area. And Donkey Kong setting a new record at that 8.45. And that's the best we've seen so far. Now we have our four fastest. I thought uh, Penguin would have slipped in there. On his belly, but no. Semi-finals. Here we go. Petey Piranha and the Yoshi in the sports cube. Piranha and Yoshi. Up the hill they go and down. Yoshi turning that inside corner out by many lengths. And Petey Piranha's going to fall right here for sure. He had no times under 9 seconds. And I'm sure that uh, Yoshi's not going to do any worse than him this time. Crosses 8.37. And we got ourselves yet another new record. First video and records are being set and destroyed, set and destroyed, set and broken. And 8.37 is the time to beat Mario in the pipe frame, Donkey Kong in the sports coupe. Either of these vehicles has the potential to break this record. And if they stay strong here on the track, here around the turn, and looking good for the Donkey Kong, edging out the Mario by a little bit, but Mario got inside line here, coming into the last hairpin, and yes, he's out by a few lengths. Donkey Kong trying to accelerate, but hugging the side, and friction is there, and 8.48, Mario comes just shy of the new record by a tenth, but does beat out Donkey Kong, and now we slip to the finals, and we'll take a look at our two vehicles. Best time of three, which is my favorite of ways to decide winners because we really get to see cars head for the fastest time instead of just focusing on beating the other car. Fastest time, we need that. Mario starting to edge out the Yoshi and has inside line here. Yoshi looking troublesome, but has acceleration on the near side and he's got it, no! He comes up short by a length, a wheel length. And Mario in that pipe frame, 8.56. Not the best time from either of these two cars today, but a good start. Trying to put something on the board, trying to establish some sort of lead. Now we're into the second race. Mario has to deal with an outside line here on the second hairpin. Yoshi looking a lot faster. He's coming down the back straight, ahead by a few lengths, and a cross with an 8.47, and things are going to be tough for both of these cars. I think Mario has it in him to break this time. I think he has it in him to put a new record up right here. Can he do it? Up the hill he goes. It's out by a length. Around the hairpin, he's already starting to lose the lead, but he's got an inside line coming up right here. Starts to accelerate through the hill. Down by a couple. Yoshi can't stay out of the way. Yes, he's in the way, and he crosses with an 8.53. No new record, but that's enough for Yoshi. He will win by best time of 8.47. And advancing to the finals... Here, one video in, of eight actually, is the Yoshi taking up that first question mark, Brock, and that will do it for this one. I can't help but wondering, every time Petey Piranha in the last video 
ran into that finish gate. Was the wind knocked out of him? Hey, everybody. I'm Brendan, and the Super Tournament is back. B-Dasher and, well, seems like it's just a pipe there in the sports coupe. I'm not sure what kind of control he could muster, but uh, if he's even the right pronoun, um, he's out there racing against Donkey Kong. Also, now that I mention it, I did get a nice comment in the last video, um, bringing the truth, 8.47 on the first time. That uh, the piranha plant is not necessarily Petey Piranha himself, but uh, more just an average piranha plant. Baby Mario and Peach here going at it. And they made the distinction that Petey Piranha does not sit in a pot. Petey Piranha is a free-flowing creature. You can walk around on two legs. But uh, <laughs> no matter, they look pretty similar to me. Baby Mario screaming across in the B-Dasher 8.49. Just uh, 0 0.202 shy of that first time, but he will move on. Mario in the Wild Wing, Waluigi in the B Dasher. Waluigi and Wild Wing. Lots of W's out there in this time. Who will take the W, though? <laughs> we'll see in a second. Close race, though. Wild Wing starting to fall behind a couple of lengths. Let's get to that turn, and the Wild Wing slips down yet a couple more. B Dasher. Has been a very fast car overall today, no matter the uh, character in it. That's two wins for a B-Dasher. 8.72. Blue Yoshi in the sneaker there with Bowser Jr. And I remember the sneaker being, well, especially in singular lane racing, a really tough vehicle to manage. Not very fast. And you can see that kind of out here, even a standard card besting it right now by four, even five lengths and six, and Yoshi with an 8.7. And it seems like none of the other racers, none of the other characters that we have today, Red Yoshi and Bowser Jr. getting going, are uh, tall enough to run into that finish gate and hit the foreheads on the top. Just a uh, piranha plant problem. Bowser Jr. on the near side here on the inside line and screams past in the bad wagon. And he's going to have it by a new record there, 8.44. That might be the fastest we've seen over the two videos, definitely in this one. And if you thought a pipe was weird, what about an egg? And for an egg, quite a good uh, acceleration out of the gate. I didn't know eggs had that capability. And right now, Holding out by a few lengths, Mario's gonna fight his way back in, try to not lose to an egg-shaped racer, and maybe on the far side, no acceleration to the end. 9.06 though, so a slow egg, if any egg. But he'll move on. Peach in the sneaker, Bowser Jr. in the sports coupe. I guess when you race in things as absurd as sneakers, putting an egg in one of them shouldn't be too much of a jolt. Peach in the sneaker, far side there, up by a length, Bowser Jr. screaming back into the lead, up by a length now, two on the inside line, takes over, big lead for Bowser Jr., an easy finish right there, 8.7. Cappy, Wario in the sports coupe. Cappy, for those of you uh, who don't understand Cappy, Cappy comes from that recent game Super Mario Odyssey where, well, Mario's cap comes alive and that's really the whole trope of the game. So, if you haven't played it, well, take a look. It's pretty amazing. And Cappy amazing there in the B-Dasher 8.67. Not a terrible time and quite a strong finish going up against an actual human being. Um, though that is debatable based on some game theories I've seen on the Mario universe. The cap, the uh, animate cap, We'll take that one by a length. Bowed Wagon and the B-Dasher. Bowser Jr. and Donkey Kong. Oh, big, big jump out of the gate by Donkey Kong. And now I'm remembering that Donkey Kong, that first race, was also in a B-Dasher. So B-Dashers all across the board have been winning. Down by a few lengths, so gets inside line right here. Here we go around the inside line. They're back to even for a second. No, Bowser Jr. Bad Wagon, 8.39. And I think that might be the best time. I feel like we might have seen an 8.37 last video but I can't confirm that for sure. B-Dasher, Sports Coupe. We're gonna see a lot of B-Dashers here in the second round. Sports Coupe there on the far side, B-Dasher here on the near side. Big 
travel up the hill and it's still the beat asher in the lead but he has to deal with an outside line here and bowser jr starting to make up ground and we're back to even here's the inside line for bowser jr oh he starts to spin and the beat asher pushes by and into the lead in an 8.63 and waluigi will keep the beat asher legacy alive cappy yoshi egg send to uh racers out there who don't even have any hands and this is what you're gonna get b dasher way out in front again sports coupe struggling aerodynamics on an egg are less than satisfactory and i think that's why the result is what it is 8.624 of the <laughs> sometimes guys i <laughs> i try to hold it together but <laughs> i have to laugh at the at the egg versus the animate cap i <laughs> i really do but back to it. Baby Mario. Yoshi there on the far side up by a few lengths. Around that outside line, Yoshi still holding on. Only a few lengths down gets inside here. Over the hills they go, picking up speed as they do. Yoshi on the far side. Oh, roadblock spin around and loses the lead. 8.75. What was the thought process? He set himself on an, um, a self created revolving door, not knocked away by any of the other racers, which would be only one. Um,. And baby Mario just, maybe he had a thought, hesitated too long, but then lost all control. I don't know what happened, but uh, what a tough way to lose. He had the win. Yoshi wasn't going anywhere fast, at least no faster than Baby Mario. Let's get back at it again. Bowser Jr. starting in the semifinals. Waluigi keeping up with him quite well, but down by a few lengths. That bad wagon is really bringing the heat. 8.49. I'll tell you what. The bad wagon gets a bad rap, Yoshi and Cappy, for the semifinals here. But it has been really fast with that Bowser Jr. character. I don't know why it's been so much better, but in this case, it has really been a winner. B dash for Animate Cap. Here we go. Cap B. Up by a few lengths. Starting to close that lead, though, is that blue Yoshi in the standard cart. Let's see if he can get lucky at the end again. No, Cappy's not going for a ghost random... Um, unstrategic roadblock just throwing all the adjectives I can find at it and he's going to stay straight Yoshi tried to zigzag there at the end but nothing doing let's take a look towards the finals who do we got winner will be the best time out of three so we really get to look towards that clock Cappy and Bowser Jr. bad wagon and uh, cap that can take over about any animate object an inanimate object which is really exciting um, but not so much right now for Cappy. Not very exciting down so many lengths that, uh, well, it really seems like no contest right now. 8.42, and Bowser Jr. still is yet to break his top time. Play a little Odyssey in my day. And I really did enjoy the fact that you can just throw the cap at basically anything and boom, you're inside of it. Here we go. Cappy looking for a better time than Bowser Jr. here. 8.42 is that number to beat. Cappy looking a little bit faster this time, but Bowser Jr. still with a strong takeover. He's out by a few lengths still, and there's just no chance. Bowser Jr. so fast. 8.62, not even that great actually, but good enough to stay in front of Cappy. And the time to beat is still 8.42. Let's race him again. Here we go. Oh, Bowser Jr., tough start out of the gate. Now down by a few lengths, but it seems like up the hills, the bad wagon has such the, the endurance, the strength, the power, maybe the horsepower to get up the hills and accelerate that extra length. Can he break his own time? And I think he will not. 8.39 being his best in the day. 4-2 here in the finals. And Bowser Jr., deservingly so, will be seen in the finals. He'll take up that second question mark block and leave things to be as we wrap up this one. Subscribe. Do not forget Diecast Racing TV doing the parallel um, tournament as we head towards the end of all. Mario Kart Super Tournament, not just a tournament exclusive to races and fun but also to Diecast Racing TV. I'm going to say it one more time. That's Diecast Racing TV. Please go check them out. They're running a parallel tournament, Bowser and the Topper. It was one of the Brutals to get things going. But they're doing the same thing they're doing, we're doing here, except they're on a different channel, and they're bringing different characters to the equation. When we get to the end of this 64 group and the other 64 group, well, they're going to have a... <laughs> 
a bunch of champions. Brutals is going to come across from that beat after very solidly, 8.88. All eights. And then the finals of the finals will be both from this channel and that channel, the best from each. We talked about it before, but I cannot stress enough. Go check out Diecast Racing TV. A lot of extra content over there that mirrors very closely. Oh my god, Yoshi! Can't mirror that! He's still back on the course! He's still back on the course and going! He's still going! He's over the hills! He doesn't have any speed, but I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, man, as soon as I try to make a comparison, something just un reproducible occurs. I think Peach got slowed down so much that she's down two seconds and that's a 10.12 and I'm sure she's faster. But man, Black Yoshi Donkey Kong to get going again here. Oh, that is really irreproducible. Yoshi should be given like a purple heart or something. Something side questy just for the, his ability to do what he just did. Rolled in the other co uh, track, stayed on the track through that banked hairpin. And, uh, I, wow. Unbelievable. Black Yoshi's gonna win this one. And we'll keep rolling. Diecast Racing TV. <laughs> Go check them out. They're doing the same stuff. Oh, boy. Okay. Wario. Yoshi. I think that's a purple Yoshi this time. Standard card. He's keeping his wheel down on the ground, though. Over the second hill. And here we go. Around the turn. And it's close. Wario holding out by a length. But Yoshi, no, he's back on top. 8.56. Yoshi. Yoshi. I think because he was a little lighter, was able to keep the speed high right to the end. Mario and the sneaker in. Boo. Don't get scared. Boo and sneaker. Boo looking pretty fast up there, up on the hill. We'll see how this goes on the turn. And Boo's dropping a few lanes here, but has the inside line to work with. Sneaker still holding out. But both of them look pretty slow right now. Boo has to accelerate here and does not. 9.38, so underwhelming to say the least. Mario and baby Boo. I truthfully didn't know there was a baby boo. I can't think of a... I played a lot of Mario in my my day, and I can't remember a game with baby boo, but I, I think that's what we're doing here. Baby boo, circuit special, and you know what? Baby boo is killing it. Mario in the standard card has nothing on him. Circuit special. Look at the time, 8.5. A strong contender for sure in this one. And, well, you got to give it up to uh, the youth of the boo community. How about Didi Kong? <laughs> <laughs> Missing a D there. Um, yeah, Diddy Kong and <laughs> and Mario there. I believe that's uh, P Wing for Mario. We have the Mach 8 and the Diddy Kong. We know the Mach 8 is just very strong out there. And there you go, 8.47. So Diddy Kong working on contending for the finals as well. Mecha Koopa and Peach in the bad way. You can see that for some of these characters, the, the car is not specified because they didn't really get a specific model. See the Mecha Koopa just on some, on some silver wheels there, really, so you're wondering why. It's for a reason. That's not a cart. That's not a specific cart that you can get as a model. It's just uh, <laughs> wheels on a robot. <laughs> Mecha Koopa slides across. Terrible time. But uh, Peach was just, uh, well, nothing going for her there. Bad wagon. Not the best when it's not the Bowser Jr. Second round. Here we go. Let's narrow it down more. Blue Yoshi. Baby Boo. Man, he looked purple there. I think I think this is the, the one I call purple there back in the beginning. Because in this vantage point to me, I, I see a little bit of purple, but blue when he's up close. Baby Boo, though. No matter on that. No color on a boo. And he is fast right down towards the finish line. It's close. But the Circuit Special's got it. 8.49. Cuts down that time 0.01. But a PB is a PB. Mario in the sneaker. And now Matcha Koopa. Matcha Koopa. New drink at your local uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Here we go. Matcha Koopa. <laughs> Matcha Koopa and Mario in the sneaker. Rolling over the hill. One and two. And down to the final turn. Here we go. Macha Koopa only down by a length. Has a chance. Accelerating on the far side. No. 
turns around behind Mario at the end, and that's no good. 9.36, Mario in the sneaker. Black Yoshi P-Wing, topper in the B-Dash. Let's do it, Black Yoshi coming out fast, out by three lengths or more, topper. Strong member of the Brutals. I think the first one you fight in the whole Odyssey ordeal. And uh, even in the B-Dasher, struggling to keep up with that strong Black Yoshi P-Wing. Oh, spins at the end! 8.61, he still got it. If he had spun even a couple lengths earlier, the Brutals would have had a chance. Daidi Kong and Cat Peach. I gotta call it like, like uh, it's written. We know who he is. But it's Daidi Kong today. Mach 8, around the inside. Ran out by many lengths. It'd be hard for Cat Peach to catch up here towards the end. And no, she's gonna have trouble. Mach 8 still out by many lengths. Cat Peach accelerating at the end, but comes up a wheel length short. I did not see that boost coming. Looks like she hit a boost pad on the ground. That's how fast she accelerated, but then it died away. And we have the semifinals there, your four. Unfortunately for Cat Peach, not good enough. Daidi Khan. Black Yoshi. You hear the gate revving as it drops these two vehicles down. Daidi Khan had a better jump out the start and looked a little bit faster. But both of these cars very fast and tough to contend with into the next turn. Here comes Black Yoshi inside line and it's close. Black Yoshi on the far side runs past. Perfect line, 8.59. And Daidi Khan. We'll race no more. Baby Boo, Mario in the sneaker. I mean, how do you tell if a Boo is in its uh, young years? I, I don't struggle with that. I mean, by looking at it, it's just a little bit smaller than maybe your average Boo, but I mean, Boo's got to come in all shapes and sizes, right? But uh, how do you age a Boo? Can't cut it and look for rings, right? 8.49, that's a good uh, time for the boo. It crushes the sneaker. And, uh, well, we're looking at the finals here. We're gonna have a baby boo going up against uh, Black Yoshi in the P-Wing, Circuit Special. Two cars you don't really see in finals often. Usually it's a lot of B-dashers and Mach 8s, and maybe a sports coupe here and there. Maybe even like a standard cart because has its advantages, but we have two uh, unusual carts, but uh, two very good racers when it comes to utilizing their advantages. Circuit Special taking away from him. 8.46. We're looking for best time out of three here, and seeing that both of these racers are quite strong, it could be close. Let's run it again. Black Yoshi now on the far side. Gonna have an outside line first and deal with an inside line in the hairpin. Baby Boo looking good through that turn, but mm, doesn't have a big enough lead. It's going to be tough when we get to this next turn. Here comes Black Yoshi on the inside line. He will not take back the lead. And the circuit special holds out again. 8.51. And Black Yoshi needs to pick it up here at the end if he wants to win this. He's got inside line on the first turn, and then we'll work with outside at the end. He's past to jump to a big lead here. He has to, inside line, he's got nothing. He's got nothing, Baby Boo is much faster and gets inside line here. Runs around, up three lengths, and Yoshi looks like he just, whoa! Little turn at the end. But Yoshi still not able to catch up. 8.52, but that will be definitely enough for Baby Boo to get to the next round. Three, excellent racer. I wonder, for a racer who is a little afraid of heights, if that will make him faster to the bottom or slower. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and quite a question to ponder, and I'd wonder if any racers afraid of heights would even <laughs> want to take to such a career. Bowser and Yoshi will kick things off today. Group 4, video 4 of this Mario Super Tournament, with uh, quite a tall hill right after that first uh, drop. Bowser, oh, loses all the speed down the back straight in that Mach 8, and he'll come up short, 8.77 though, on the clock. All right, blue spiny shell, Donkey Kong in the sneaker. We get the next set of racers out there. Sneaker, 
looking pretty strong out of the gate and trying to pull up a couple lengths, but he falls behind. Blue Shell always seeking first place, so doing so on his own as well, but falling behind here at the end by a length, and the sneaker overtakes. Unfortunately, Blue Shell being a racer instead of an item this time could not put on that blast radius to spin him out of control. Peach in the Mach 8, Donkey Kong in that pipe frame. Peach in the Mach 8 off to a terrible start. You saw the nose of the car bump all around, but she's back to having some speed. Turns around that hairpin at lightning speed. Um, that's kind of tended there, by the way, referencing that lightning item. We might see that. Donkey Kong puts on a nice defensive block and puts her away, actually. wonder if lightning can uh, manifest well enough to become a animate kart racer. Wario and Bomb Bomb Koopa. Bomb Bomb Koopa. Man, I did not expect to see him here. And he might not hang around lo uh, very long. Wario in that bad wagon, looking very strong. Up by many lengths. He does have an outside line here. Gives a chance for the Koopa. Ooh, no. No ground made up. No acceleration. Oh, he goes for a roadblock. And he's knocked across a risky move for seemingly no reason, really. And it paid off. I mean, what was the, the thought process there to let Koopa back in? While Ouija and bob -omb. It worked out, but again, I, I just think that was silly. It shows that some of these racers really don't think through their movements. And maybe just don't care as much about winning as you may think. bob -omb trying to pull up speed here at the end and accelerates down that last hill. Only down by a length. The bad wagon cuts inside and has the bob -omb cut off. Yes. That's an exciting defensive move. Now that is uh, the antithesis compared um, to Wario in the previous race who just <laughs> almost threw it away. Well, Luigi put on quite a intelligent movement right there at the end, cut him off and there's no chance. And right at the time where there was not any time for the bob -omb to really dive away and try to pass on the other lane. Peach and uh, Moai, I think, is the name of that thing. And well, <laughs> quite a close race actually comes up short. I mean, all the speed kind of went out the sides at the end for him and, well, by a nose, Peach. Dry Bowser and Wallaby G in that Pee-Wing. Let's get him rolling. Dry Bowser, Waluigi, P-Wing. Oh, started well. Now down a few lengths. Outside line, though, has an inside line to work with. Let's see if he'll speed up over these smaller rolling hills. Dry Bowser starting to slow down a little bit. Waluigi's fighting back into it, but no acceleration out of the hairpin. And Dry Bowser is going to put the standard card on the board. Not impressive times overall so far from any of these racers. A lot of times around the 9-second mark when we saw as low as, I believe, 8.37 from some other racers in different videos. So... Really not your fastest group so far, but um, maybe uh, later on in the rounds when we start to find the faster of this video, we might see something a little more record-breaking. Diddy Kong just blowing away the competition. I mean, Cheap Cheap really, with uh, really no hands, is going to struggle to have any control on his card. He's just going to turn there and give up. Um, so not really a big challenge, but uh, Diddy Kong will blow him away with a nice time, too, as I was talking about. 8.46, and that will be a strong start for Diddy Kong. Second round. Let's see. Four and four, eight racers, a couple Donkey Kongs in there, Bad Wagon and Sneaker. Remember, the Wario in that Bad Wagon last time really didn't think things through, and he's put out of control towards the end of the race. Let's see how he goes. Wario in the bad wagon, coming out a few lengths ahead through these last couple of hills and still has the lead. The sneaker inside line, down by a couple wheel lengths, now a couple more lengths, and Wario stays straight this time. No fooling around. Still a real terrible time, 9.31, but good enough to move on. Diddy Kong and Peach in the standard car. Diddy Kong, quite fast last time. Peach, less so. She might have been the 8.77 time, so it's still going to be close here. Let's see how Diddy Kong races. Already out a few lengths. Peach fighting back into it, down by a length, and less! Now she's in the lead through the inside line. She's got the lead, but Diddy Kong accelerates out of that hairpin and puts it away, 8.78. Not an overwhelming time, but again, good enough. Bowser in the standard cart. We'll dry Bowser. And Waluigi. 
Moigi, a smart racer. He really was no nonsense last time, but how will he fare against Dry Bowser? That's really the question here. The only question worth answering. Dry Bowser out for a lead. Waluigi accelerating out of the smaller hills. Now only down by a length. Starts to push towards the end, but it gets rammed against the side and just had trouble staying off the rail. And Dry Bowser will coast to a win. See the struggle. Donkey Kong pipe frame. Yoshi in the classic B-Dasher, of which we see a lot of, um, for sure, in these videos. B-Dashers are very dominant. Here comes Donkey Kong, out by a few lengths, and ooh, pulling that weight through. Still fast, it's close to the end. Yoshi on the far side. Oh, he couldn't stay straight. I think he got a little hesitant next to quite a large racer. And he's going to be left away by a couple lengths of the wheel. Semi-finals. We have our four best here of this group. All heavyweights, except for maybe Diddy Kong. But I'm sure in a few years he'll pack on those pounds. Diddy Kong and Dry Bowser. Here we go. Up, round that hairpin they go. For the third time, I believe, for both of them. And Dry Bowser is uh, lagging a few lengths. Diddy Kong trying to put up a new best time. And this might be it. 8.62, so not so. Good finish. And he'll be in the finals. Donkey Kong and the Bad Wagon. Wario. Again, looking for something a little faster, hopefully, time-wise. This group has not blown me away. No exciting record breaks yet. Here we go. Donkey Kong on the near side. Looking about four lengths ahead through the final turn and blows out Wario. And he'll have that win with an 8.72. And now let's speed over to the finals and take a look at what we got here. We got two pipe frames and we got two apes. And uh, while we're on the subject of two, two stars on each of those pipe frames in that front logo uh, emblem, whatever you call it. But unfortunately, four wheels, so... Well, that's not unfortunate, that's really just what it is. Diddy Kong up by a few, 8.69. I wonder how two-wheel racing would look. That might be fun. It's going to be best time here. Diddy Kong uh, starting better than Donkey Kong. Let's see how Donkey Kong fares now with the inside line out of the gate. And he had the lead there for a second, but Diddy Kong screams back into the lead, and he might put up another good time. And that he will. What is it going to be? 8.71. So not even better than his first one, but um, a little bit. Well, still a win against Donkey Kong. Here we go. Best time. Can Donkey Kong beat it? I mean, I'm, I'm not too uh, anticipatory of that. Well, because Donkey Kong has just been slow throughout the whole finals. And Diddy Kong, again, fast through this first sector. Out, here comes Donkey Kong trying to accelerate, trying to give it everything he's got. Diddy Kong cuts him off, gets the best time he's gotten in these finals. And we'll move on slow overall, but fast in this group, 8.65. We'll do it. There are your four in the finals. Who will make it? The Mario Kart Super Tournament continues on, but with a little bit of a change. Hey, everybody. I'm Brendan, and there has been some shuffling in the structure of this tournament. As you know, the first four videos, uh, 16 cars each, encompass 64 total cars. So we'll get a couple brutals in that Moai going out first. And those 64 cars have been used up. And over on the Diecast Racing TV channel, 64 cars have been used as well amongst those four videos. Well, we need some more cars. So based on the shuffling, we have a few extra. We have now 64 more cars uh, spread amongst the two channels. But uh, that will leave 32 for each. And they'll be now running eight per video going best time per two races. So you'll see that here. These two are running again, and the goal will be best time out of the two. After that first performance from the Brutal there with only a 9.32, not a great showing, but he's going to go ahead and win this one again. So either way, he'll be moving on. And yeah, that's 9.18, so not a strong start, but it will at least advance.
The shuffle of uh, structure is uh, really a effort. Cappy and Goomba will get going here. Effort by the officials to make uh, the last half of the, I guess, the tryouts or the uh, the group stages a little bit more fair. Really allow for cars to get on the track a couple times, experience both lanes, and really go for speed over uh, just victory. There's Cappy, and that'll be 8.7. And I think it's best. I think it's best considering we have less racers, even though the same number of remaining group stages, well, as we had the first four. But this will take us to the end of eight group stages after these four coming videos from both this channel and the Diecast Racing TV, and then the finals for each channel, and then the finals of the combined channels will all proceed in order. They change the lanes here. Cappy again way out ahead, and he's going to put this one away easily. You're probably going to pick up an 8 point... I was going to say an 8.7, but there's an 8.69, so it cuts it down. And, uh... Well, a little bit of a stronger performance there. Got to stay in the mid-8s. That, that's really where the best times have been so far. We've seen a couple get as low as that 8.3... And whatnot, but those are really the elite racers. Banana and Shy Guy. Banana in that B dash, so B's all the way around. And Shy Guy in there in the Mach 8. And here he goes. Ooh, losing speed through the shorter hills. And Banana's got the uh, lead by a couple of lengths here down the back straight. And Shy Guy zigzags inside, but uselessly. And he'll be down a few milliseconds towards the end. Moving on, we're going to run them once again. Another chance here for the banana to put, uh, well, I guess a better time on the board. He may not be able to, and he may not even have the best time of this one. Shy Guy taking a commanding lead out by many lengths because he underdo point, uh, seven three. No, nah, 8.95. And he will fall short of moving on, even though he really destroyed the V-Dasher there with this race. Let's go Pink Cold Peach and the bob -omb. And we're really getting uh, arbitrary here with some of the characters. bob -omb, Pink Cold Peach, really more obscure in the Mushroom Kingdom when it comes to racing. Here we go Peach on there on the far side, up by a couple of lengths, and the gap's closing as bob -omb comes back inside, has the inside hairpin, so he's out in front a couple of lengths, and he streaks towards the end, and he's got speed and enough to bring him across. 9.11. Truthfully, not a very good time. But, uh... Well, he at least beat out Pink Old Peach. Can he put a better number on the board? Because everything's foreshadowing here. You see a, a, a car win in his first group, but if he's putting up times above 9 seconds, you know he's going to fall short later on. Pink Old Peach looking for a better time this time. Had the lead, but he loses it at the end by a wheel length. And she'll come up short of a strong time as well. bob -um brings it down into the eights and he'll move on. We have our remaining four. No impressive times here. Nothing like our first four groups where we really had racers breaking records. As down as a 8.37 I think might have been the fastest time if I remember correctly. But uh, maybe we'll be surprised here. Happy, looking a little faster. He's been the fastest so far today. And he's out in front of the Banana B-Dasher. And loses the lead out of the final hairpin. And it's gone. 8.79. And, well, that will shake things up a little bit. Especially uh, considering that Cappy had uh, quite strong times. He's down towards 8.69 in the first uh, group he was in. First... 1v1, so, I mean, really slowed down here. Here comes Cappy a little bit faster this time. Man's going to get the inside line. Might have some speed down the back straight, and, yeah, no acceleration from the B-Dasher. And I think that's enough. Ooh, that is enough to move on, 8.74. 0.05 improvement. Well, not really improvement. More as a... 0.05 lead, and he's going to move on. Now we have bob -omb and the Brutal character. bob -omb coming out a lot faster than he looked in his first 1v1 
And I don't know how it's going to look down the back straight, but it looks like Brutal is starting to catch up. Standard card has speed, but, well, he couldn't uh, push towards the end there very well. I mean, honestly, I thought I was going to see some massive acceleration. But uh, nothing, 8.92. I mean, bob -Omb is just a couple temps off where he needs to be to face whoever he's going to face in the final, should he make it there. But I think he might be able to pull it back together if he's... Uh, he stays straight and learns each time he races on the track. He may right here, up by a few lengths. Brutal tries to fight back in, but no. 8.98. So a worse time that he'll be shifting on. Here we are to the finals. Let's take a look. We have Cappy, we have bob -Omb. Bobum starting out a lot faster. Cappy, your faster racer overall, and he's going to fight back already through that first hill. Around that first hairpin, still looking good for Cappy, who takes a lead down into Sector 2 over those couple of hills. And the inside line, he's out by many lengths, and that's at least a couple tenths of a second or more. And he'll put up an 8.7, and that'll be a tough time to beat. Let's change lanes. Bob Omb, Cappy, same two. Cappy on the near side, now to the far side. Up by a few lengths already, but has to work with an outside line. Bob Omb has a chance to fight back in. There he goes on the inside line. He's only down the length, but can't accelerate on the end. And it will be Cappy again with 8.59. And I think whatever Bob Omb's time was, was record-breaking for himself, a new PB. But the problem was it came at a time where, well, he needed to do a little bit better. Cappy will take that. Fastest time, 8.59. He will struggle against some of those other uh, winners from the other videos later on. But for now, good enough. And we'll see you next time on Races and Fun. With now 96 carts for each channel and a total of 192, this really is the largest tournament the Mushroom Kingdom has ever put on. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and remember, Diecast Racing TV, along with Races and Fun, parallel tournaments, 96 carts each. And the Mushroom Kingdom really starts to branch out, and you can see as they do, they have really needed to get creative with the kind of racers we've been able to see. Today, Petey Piranha and Kamek being two more obscure ones out there. Kamek on the far side. They're, oh man, both of them going to hit the uh, the gate and not cross the line. Knock their heads. And that's going to... Well, that's going to hurt. Both of them a little bit too tall for, for the ride. 9.45, so nothing special either. But I'm sure the height is not doing them any good. Remember with the new format, we have best of two races. Best time of two races. For the card that gets to move on. Now Petey Piranha way out in front here. Ann's got inside line coming up. So around that curve, he's up by many lengths. This could be a lot better than 9.45. Uh, Looks very fast. And in the pipe frame, he doesn't hit the ceiling either. Or the, uh, the top of the gate. And 9.37 will be enough to advance. That was a little bit of a comeback there for Petey Piranha, who struggled out of the gate. Hammer Bro and Monty Mole. Again, two more secondary or even tertiary characters here in the Mushroom Kingdom, but they're getting their chance to shine. Monty Mole looking very fast in that standard card, and I think it's because, well, he's not that tall. Around the final turn, and here he goes to the finish, and accelerating in that, and 8.87, so starting strong. Hammer Bro, another racer that can't get under that gate. Enough of the car gets under, though, they can uh, mark the time, which I find quite useful, quite hilarious. Here we go. Monty Mole there on the far side now. Has to deal with an outside line, but it's already way out in front. It's not even a contest with Hammer Bro. He's trying to fight his way back in, but he just does not have the speed down Sector 2. And 8.81, so improves on his time from the previous race, and we'll move on. Yoshi Egg and Penguin Luigi, and we're really getting out there. Remember an egg race before, I think put up quite a performance for uh, 
Well, for an egg. And uh, Luigi in a penguin suit. I wonder if he'll be able to slide a little bit faster than normal. He's in a Mach 8, too, and that's huge. We've seen Luigi in a Mach 8 really put some pressure on everybody else in the tournament. 8.67, though, so not the most overwhelming of times. We switch it up. Egg on the far side, Mach 8 here on the near side. Luigi starting out strong with a couple lengths, now 3 and 4. Around that inside line, he's got a big lead here. Egg's got a... <laughs> See if he can crack his way back into this one. And uh, Luigi just taking it away. Can he beat his time? No, a roadblock at the end and all the time is gone. But he still beats his best time, 8.56. And now seeing that, I think other racers should start to worry about the Mach 8. If he can do 8.5 with a uh, little twist at the end where at least half a second is lost, imagine what he could do with a straight race. Swamp and Waluigi. There we go. Hard to say who is your better racer so far. Looks like Waluigi's dropping back a little bit around that outside line. He's got a lot of work to do to catch up, and Thwomp just keeps his nose to the grindstone. He's going to bring lacrosse with an 8.82. Starting strong, but we'll see what things change when Luigi, uh, Waluigi gets that, that last inside line. Here we go. Waluigi starting on the far side, leaving that circuit special. Thwomp here on the near side, starting with a, a pipe frame as his card choice. Really odd for Thwomp, at least in my opinion. Just uh, feels like he might break through those uh, lightweight pipes immediately, but somehow not. And twist at the end, 8.96. And that's enough for him to move on. Waluigi didn't win either race. Well, we have our four moving on. Honestly, my money's on the Penguin Luigi based on the potential. Let's head to the second round. Penguin Luigi and Thwomp in the pipe frame. We got a Mach 8 in the pipe frame. Two of your best racing cars if you're choosing a car to go with for these Mushroom Kingdom tournaments. Mach 8 just really killing it out of the gate faster and faster. And we might get a new PB for Luigi who already had an 8.56. And here we go down to the finish fast as always and 8.42 and it's only going to get faster. And Thwomp even a solid racer at that. No chance. They switch lanes. Swamp starts out in a little bit of a lead. Luigi will get inside line at the end, and he's already building a lead, and he's out by a couple lengths even to that final turn. Still fast through the hills, around the final turn, out by many lengths. He's going to beat Thwomp unless he messes up here, but will he beat his best? No. 8.62. He's bringing it down, though. 8.37, I believe, is our best time across all videos. So the question is, will Luigi break that? He could. He had an 8.42. Our other two racers, Petey Piranha and Monty uh, Piranha and Monty Mole, to get out there. And I'll probably put money on Monty Mole for this one. And it looks like he is doing pretty well so far now. Crossing that line a little slower, I'd say, than Luigi. Yeah, 8.87. And, well, Petey Piranha is managing to get under the uh, top of the gate there. I don't know how that all started because, well, it used to be impossible. Maybe he <laughs> shrunk down a little bit. Maybe in that pipe frame is a little easier. It seems like a lower to the ground to cart. Here comes Monty Mole around that big hairpin, still out by many lengths, racing to the end, twisting a little bit, but manages control, 8.74, and he'll go up against Luigi. Well, that's going to be a tough race for Monty Mole, but, well, he's got, he's got, he's got a chance. Don't count him out yet. Remember, 0.3 seconds is not that much of a distance. Let's be in the finals. Penguin Luigi, Monty Mole. Oh, wow. Hesitant out of the gate. Kind of bounces with those back wheels. Monty Mole always, uh, already down a few lengths. And then losing out here down by about seven lengths. Luigi just killing it right now around that final hairpin. And straight down the back straight. Goes to the outside. Why? I don't know. 8.38. He's almost beat the best time. And thus it begins. Here we go, once again. Money Mole, now keeping pace with Luigi and gets inside line here. Can he get a little bit of a lead? No, even with inside line on that hairpin, he's got nothing. Luigi, around that final turn, way out in front once again, straight to the end, and I don't think he's going to bother going out here. And 8.53. And that'll be close to his best 
not quite, still a very good time, and he will be advancing to the finals and one to look out for. He's almost record-breaking in this video. That will do it for today's video. Do not forget to subscribe to Races and Fun, and we'll see you next time as we open up those last two question mark blocks over the next two videos and get to the finals. Thanks for watching. Only two spots remain left in the finals for the Mario Super Tournament, and today we will fill one more of them. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and let's just kick things off here with the first round. bob -omb and White Yoshi, Beat Asher and Standard Kart, their carts respectively. And we continue to delve into more and more obscure and unseen characters from the Mushroom Kingdom as we get towards the end of all the group stages. White Yoshi... Not even the most common of the Yoshi colors for sure. And White Yoshi falling back by a length. Oh, we almost had it. 8.65, so bob -omb's coming out fast. And that'll be exciting for the semifinals and finals later. And he's nearing that record of 8.37. And we'll switch lanes, though. And Yoshi here in the standard card here on the near side coming out a lot faster. About two, three lengths, and it closes quickly as bob -omb runs right by. Inside line, up by many, and taking it to the end easily. And with an 8.59, so this time even faster. And that'll leave... Baba moving on, of course. Bullet Bill and the Goomba. You'd imagine a Bullet Bill would be quite fast. Or maybe even faster without the cart. He is stuck to. Let's see how he performs. Right now, Goomba either very slow or Bullet Bill extremely fast. Out by many lengths. Around the outside line, still holding a strong lead and just accelerating to the end. 8.47. That's a good time. That's going to be a time with potential to bring it down to the new record. Which again, I believe was 8.3 set. We'll change lanes and we'll send Bullet Bill out that far side this time. Now they're about even up the first hill, but it's gonna separate here for sure. Yeah, there we go, Bullet Bill coming out a few lengths. Now more and even up to four lengths. Inside line, he's gonna break away for sure. This is an easy one. He starts to skid for a second, but writes himself an 8.54. Good way to finish off that one. And Bullet Bill will also advance. Piranha Plant and Sherm. Very explosive characters advancing to the semifinals in this one. Well, Sherm started up fast and then lost all positions. Now he's way behind. Um, way behind. And here we go around that final hairpin. PD Piranha or Piranha Plant. My mistake starts to slow down, but he'll get underneath 9.05, so not very good. Strong replay here. You can see the distance increasing as Piranha Plant finds the end. Sure, I'm coming out strong this time. Out of the gate, no hesitation, but again, losing all that length by the second sector, which would be into these two jumps, um, these two smaller hills here. Here comes Petey Piranha. Again, making that mistake. Piranha Plant, he's in the pot. And he'll roll across slowly, 9.15, but good enough to still move on. It's quite a simple course, I will say compared to some other uh, Mushroom Kingdom courses, but I think that was the idea this time. Keep it simple, keep it fast, and make it about uh, being strong through that vertical motion. A lot of hills in this one. Dry bones and uh, I think it's Toad in an acorn suit. And really, we're, uh, we're really going out there with this one. Here comes Dry Bones, a lot faster in that bad wagon, which is a rare card to see at the forefront. Around that final hairpin, and he's only up by a length here. Toad in the squirrel suit can't fly his way to the end. He'll skid across. 8.98. It's a good finish for the bad wagon. So as you can already foreshadow, the two first semifinalists are... Uh, <laughs> Leaps and bounds better racing-wise than the two will probably collect here. Drybones looking slow out of the gate. Here comes 
Toad in his nice little squirrel suit. Wrapped tightly around him. I don't really know the purpose of that. Oh, I think that's a Tanuki suit, actually. No matter, Dry Bones again, 8.98, identical time, and identically mediocre. Tanuki squirrel suit, they all blur together these days. So many new power-ups and new games in the series. And now they'll match up like this. bob -omb in the Piranha Plant. Let's do it. bob -omb out there. Easy lead right out the gate. bob -omb still by a huge margin. Big lengths, about seven. And around the final hairpin. And just no contest here. And you guys saw this coming into the semifinals. There we have it. 8.49. Let's switch it up. bob -omb now out to a big lead. Almost lost it there through the first hill, but still very strong. I think that's where bob -omb's losing a little bit of time, though, if he's going for that new record. Now that hill slows him down right towards the peak. Here comes bob -omb accelerating towards the finish, and he's got it easy. 8.68. A little slower that time. Moving on, Bullet Bill, Dry Bones. Let's see what they've got. Bullet Bill and Dry Bones. Dry Bones already lagging behind. Bullet Bill looking for that new record as well. He came so close in his first heat. Let's see if he's got it this time. Dry Bones keeping up though, so probably not. Acceleration towards the end, but that's an, oh, 8.44. So I think Dry Bones probably had a new personal best there too. He's narrowing that gap from his PB to the record, slowly but surely. Seven point uh, oh seven seconds off. Rounding the corner, here we go. Bullet Bill. Still up by a few. He's got a chance here down the back straight. Nothing in his way. No challenge from Dry Bones, but he skids along and he's going to lose time. And 8.6 after the full 360. That might have been enough. I think it was a 180, actually. That might have been enough if he were stayed straight to have that record because that's a <laughs> still quite a time with such a mistake. But here are the finals. And the two you expected are the two in front of us now. Let's see some record breaking times. Right now, Bob, I'm not going to be the one to do it in this one. He already dropped back a few lengths right out of the gate. Bullet Bill looking crazy fast right now, way in front of Bob. Um, Around that final turn, straight down towards the finish, and he's got a oh, 8.43, and it's ever closer. Ah, I'm getting excited. He's 0.06 away. They change lanes once more. Will he do it? Will he put up the numbers this time? Let's see how he goes through this final turn. He's already up in the lead. He's going to have the win here. As oh, starts to skid, and there it goes! 8.65. Not fast enough. Fast enough to go to the finals, where we might see him put up quite the numbers. But for now, came up just short of that record. One more question mark block to go. We will settle it next time. Head to the finals and see who is the best of the best here in this massive Mushroom Kingdom tournament. Do not forget to subscribe to Races and Fun and check out the diecast. Excitement is high right now here at the Mario Super Tournament with only one question mark block left on the transfer board to the finals, not to mention an almost record-breaking performance from the finalists from last week. Things are electric here at the Races and Fun Stadium. Hey, everybody. I'm Brendan, and we're getting started here already. Cappy in there in the sneaker coming out there on the outside line, but down a few lengths. Losing out to, I believe that's Nabbit, and the car with a big M on the side, 8.83. 
And things will start well for Nabbit. Remember, it is two races here in these pairings. So a chance for either of them to put up a new best time and change the outcome of things here. Here we go, Nabbit on the inside line, out by a few lengths. Coming Cappy, making up ground slowly, but has a chance here when he goes inside. And he's got only down to two lengths, but has no chance to get past acceleration on the near side. And Nabbit will nab the win. Eight point seven seven, so a slight improvement for him at that as well. Banana in the standard cart. I think that's a cat Mario there on the far side. Also standard cart today. Here we go, Cat Mario down a few lengths, but starts to fight his way back. I mean, he is racing against a literal banana without the banana even inside, just the peel. So quite an embarrassing loss if it were to come. But starting out with a still embarrassing time of time of nine ten. How do you race a banana? How do you, how do you, I mean, I just have too many questions, really. I don't know how to voice them, but there is a banana in the car, and that banana is almost as big as Cat Mario. That really is the thing that might be most confusing about it. Here comes Banana on the near side, and actually picking up speed down the back straight. Banana's got a shot. Can Mario cut him off? He will. Well, he'll stay fast, and he'll pick up a slightly better time, but not looking good for the finals. 9.08. That's not enough. And I hate to put a damper on such a amazing performance in this one, but you gotta have fast times. Blooper and Magic Koopa. You have to be able to put up things under, I would say under 8.7 if you're gonna be valid come the finals or even the semifinals in your respective group. Here comes Magic Koopa, barely over the hill, barely has any speed down the back straight, starting to lean on the side. He may not finish. Blooper will also crawl to the end. What a terrible time. And Magic Koopa too tall for the gate. And so just an absolute mess right now. Sometimes I really look for the redeeming qualities of uh, something that any learned races and fun viewer will know to be a <laughs> not so strong performance on any account, but I, I mean, I really struggle to find one here. Magic Koopa had no speed in that first race, really just gave up towards the end. Blooper, not much better. I mean, we're over 9.5 time wise. That's really bad, even for cars who aren't top of the mark when it comes to racing. But maybe a silver lining here. I mean, he looked a little bit faster, but really just not good enough. 9.84. So we know one car who's not going to probably advance much past the semifinals. Though this group seems not so fast in general, we'll see how the next one turns out. Here we go, Spike in the Birthday Girl, new car. Hammer Bro in the Wild Wing. I don't think we've really seen anything from the Birthday Girl, so this should be a good one. Hammer Bro in the Wild Wing. Looking slow already. Very tall character. That's going to cause some problems. Oh, starts to pick it up here through the short hills. And around that inside line. He's out by a length. A length even. And Spike. Oh, he runs into the back of the Wild Wing. And he's all around. He's all spun around. And he's behind. 9.05. So, underwhelming time-wise. But a good race. And really, uh, I mean, we always have a finals focus when it... When we look at the first of stages, but uh, there is no better race than a race between two cars of a similar speed, no matter what speed that may be. Here comes Hammer Bro, down by a few lengths as he comes into the short hills. Up and down goes Spike, out by 3-4 now. Down the back straight, looking exceptionally fast. He might pick something under 8. Hammer Bro, closing the gap, but not fast enough. And 9.06, so it will be Hammer Bro. By .01, and that's close. Uh, quite exciting. Even though the final focus is, uh, well, very blurry for the, any of these two here. The only one with anything to really show for himself come anything further on would be Nabbit. Nabbit Rabbit. Wild Wing. But again, we'll see. Hammer Bro looking fast out of the gate but starts to lose it already. You might expect that, seeing as Nabbit had by far the best times today overall. Here comes Hammer Bro trying to pull that gap back together, and he might. He might around the back straight, and he's only down a couple of lengths, but not enough. And a solid time for Nabbit. 
And my thing is, you're putting up 8.75. I mean, a little practice in between races, a little rethinking of the strategy, and maybe you can cut down 0 0.2, 0 0.3, uh, get lucky and, and get near that record with a 0.4 cut down. You know, I mean, I can see it. I can see it, and that's why I still have hope in Nabbit, even when he probably will advance to the finals uh, video next week. 8.72, because he's got the potential to cut it down. A lucky race here and there, and he could really put up a, an impressive time. Hammer Bro is going to definitely fall short here. And here comes Blooper with Cat Mari. And, and see, but this is where I lose some hope, because you got Cat Mario. And by the way, Cat Mario is racing in a, in a Wario standard cart, which is, I, I mean, it really doesn't make any sense. But, I mean, that's that's the choice. Maybe that's why he's struggling so much time-wise. But, I mean, yeah, Blooper out there, obviously not doing very well. Cat Mario, maybe a little faster this time, loses some control at the end. But, I mean, that's nine seconds. That's nine seconds. I mean... I love to give hope to all racers, but, I mean, that, yeah, nine is nine. Here we go, Mario, Blooper. Once again, can he cut under 9? I'd like to see him get under 9. He totally can. If you can get 9, you can definitely undercut by .01. What's going to happen here? Mario on the near side here, out by many lengths. He's probably going to stay in front of Blooper, but we do not know yet. But we know now. And he skids to the end there with a 9.15, and it doesn't get any better. And now the question is, I, I, well, what's going to happen here in the finals? I mean... I mean, Nabbit far and away is your best racer. So unless there's some major mistakes or some major changes in uh, racing focus, I mean, this is just this is just difficult. I mean, I would keep my eyes on Nabbit and what he's doing just to kind of see where he's going to look next week. Because that's going to be important. Right now, Mario holding the lead, though, but here comes in the short hills, and that's big for Nabbit. Getting all that ground back in the short hills. He's out by many lengths now. Oh, here comes Mario, but he can't shake into some accelerative racing. 8.87. Not good. And Nabbit's up, but, uh, again, needs to, needs to pick it up. I mean, oil the wheels or something, because he's, he's got the potential, just not... He's not pulling it down. We need to see an 8.5. I'd love to see an 8.6, 8.5 right here. It would show real potential for next week. Here he goes over the short hill, starting to lose some ground, and Mario's right back in it, down the inside line, and they're even! Mario breaks away! A fast finish! And 8.81, and we have a different finalist, and I'm... I'm... <laughs> I'm astounded! What a way to finish! I thought it was an easy advance. But man, not who I thought was going to win. That's the best time for well, Cat Mario today, and he'll be the one. I mean, that <laughs> I'm very surprised. That that is the probably the first time I've really You may be surprised to hear that the fastest of times over all of the Mushroom Kingdom competitors in this tournament has actually come from the Diecast Racing TV channel. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and I see eight finalists in front of us, all of varying degrees of skill. Record set, I think, 8.37 from this channel, but again, the overall. Bullet Bill and Diddy Kong will kick things off here. Overall being 8.31 and 8.32. Top records from the Diecast Racing TV channel. The parallel tournament to this one. Can't stress enough to go check that out. What a tournament. Faster than even these cars. Diddy Kong holding that lead right to the end by a length in 8.61. And times are looking good already. And I will say, the two we have in front of us are quite skilled. Bullet Bill actually being a prospect for today. Uh, and possibly taking a win. He put up very, very good times in his group stage. And the question is, does he have it in him today? Looks like he's a lot better than Diddy Kong in this race. Comes down the finish line, loses speed. 8.71, and he will, I think, not move on. I think they're still sticking with two races here in the finals. And there goes Bullet Bill's chances. Baby Boo and Luigi Penguin. As we move along, I think these are two of the slower racers of all the finalists, but... Uh, Still worthy racers. And let's see if anyone breaks the records. Remember, on this channel, here comes Luigi with uh, Penguin accelerating down to the finish and 
So, uh, maybe I was mistaken, but uh, a good start. Remember, 8.37 for the races and fun record. I think it's possible that that gets broken today. Will the Diecast Racing TV, really the overall Mushroom Kingdom record, get broken on this tournament? 8.31? I don't know. That's quite a time. Boo coming down nice and fast and accelerating through the finish line. 8.42 and 0.01 down. And he will not advance. That's an unfortunate finish. Cappy and Cat Mario moving along here. And what a, what a disappointment to come up 0.01 from advancing and just not being able to get it done. Here we go. Cappy. Cat Mario. Coming down to finish line. Cappy way ahead and that's an 8. Is that a 9-1? Ooh. That's rough. That is rough. 9-1. <laughs> Can't be good. Here we go, Cappy, Cat Mario again. Can they uh, manage any better time? Cat Mario just looks lopsided there in the cart, doing the best he can do. Coming up here on Cappy though, now in the inside line, he's got some room to run. He has space, Cappy's not even cutting him off, but he just has the speed. 8.97, and that's gonna be good for an advancement for Cappy, though I will say with times like that, we won't be getting much further. Bowser Jr. and Yoshi. These are two of the more faster competitors. We saw them really burn some rubber in the first couple group stages, and they're out here again. One of them is going to fall here. One of them could break a record right now. Here comes Bowser Jr. on the far side, looking pretty fast and losing the lead. Out to Yoshi on the inside line. Now down two lengths, and nothing he can do. 8.46, and we draw closer to that record. I mean, it's very possible. We're within a tenth of the record. Two tenths of the overall record. And it's up in the air. Yoshi coming out a lot faster this time. Bowser Jr. Oh, accelerating over that first hill, and he's back on top, especially with inside line here. Yeah, he's got up a length. Yoshi battling back on the near side, and he's got the win. 8.62. Battles his way back. Even through a, a, a difficult uh, terrain, too. Not not the smoothest track I've seen. You saw all the movement uh, laterally. Not easy. There's Baby Boo there. I think I was mistaken. I think it was 8.47 to 8.42. And so he will be advancing. Here we go to the second round. Baby Boo and Diddy Kong. The cars only get faster. I mean, Bowser Jr. versus Cat Mario coming up next. That's probably going to be a very clear victor. It really is going to be up to uh, breaking some records at this point. Here comes Diddy Kong on the near side. Closing that lead now within one length. Around the inside line, they're about even. And Diddy Kong has a couple of wheels out in front, but Boo fights back. 8.6. Nowhere near. Nowhere near the record. Maybe Endurance is being sacrificed already here. Let's go again. Diddy Kong on the near side out to a good start. Around the inside line, he's got a big lead. Here comes Baby Boo, though, already accelerating through, and I think it will be an easy back straight for Baby Boo if he stays straight. Oh, right down the far side, and he's got 8.47. Man, within a tenth. I'd like to see it. A record if possible. Oh, sorry, Cappy and, and Yoshi here. I almost said Cat Mario. I did say Cat Mario. And I was mistaken again. But here we go. Cappy. Again, this is going to be tough. But Cappy was holding his own there through the first sector. And now it starts to dwindle. Here we go around the final turn. And it's a big lead for Yoshi who starts to skid. But manages 8.55. And let's throw him out there again. Here comes Yoshi on the near side. And he's way out in front already, has inside line, he's going to build a big lead here. Cappy closing that lead though, he's got a shot if he's fast through the final turn, and he is not fast enough. Yoshi bringing it back through the finish line, 8.48, and we have ourselves finalists. Who is it going to be? We have the finals. The winner of this one, I believe the top four will be going on to the, um, the joint... 
uh, competition along with Diecast Racing TV. So be excited for that to see some of these cars again and the best of them from that channel. Can't wait to bring that over here. Races in fun. Baby Boo here versus Yoshi. Both of them excellent racers, capable of new records. Yoshi looking fast down the back straight. Baby Boo knocks into him. Pushes him across though, 8.56. And still nothing, nothing on that last couple attempts. Maybe this will be it. Yoshi on the near side, Baby Boo on the far. Now it switches around Baby Boo on the near side and gaining back the lead has inside line to work with. He's gonna come around the inside. He's got a beat about an 8.56, I believe. Baby Boo down to the finish line and he's got 8.45 and that will be good enough for the win here on Races and Fun. The Mario Super Tournament. It will go to Baby Boo and we'll see him, of course, in the overall finals. These four will advance as mentioned before, and that'll... With the four best racers from each of the two channels here that put on the Mario Super Tournament, it makes only sense that we even lengthen the final track. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and as you can see, two more track pieces were added to this final straight, and many times we have had races where I have said, in essence, a few more lengths and it would have been a different result and now those few more lengths are added. Here are your top four from Diecast Racing TV in there. We haven't seen them yet on this channel and here they come. Lakitu and Diddy Kong will kick things off in the same way. But remember, we had records on the board. We had 8.31, 8.32 as records from Diecast Racing TV actually, but uh, still holds for overall. On both channels. But those records won't mean much today, unfortunately, since we have a longer track. Lakitu strays ahead at the end here, and he's going to put up a 9.1. But again, that's good. That's good in this new track where you have to pass through two more lengths. One only can wonder what the time would have been without the two lengths. But uh, we'll adapt to that and enjoy it, and um, Hopefully still see some fast racing. I'd love to see anything under 9 today. How amazing that would be. Lakitu on the near side here. 9.1 up on the board and about to take this race as well. Up a few lengths, but a lot of time still. Diddy Kong, no pushes to the end. Lakitu almost did himself in, but puts up an 8.99. That's a wonderful start, and he will be moving on. Shy Guy and Baby Boo. And again... We get one from each channel here. Baby Boo actually won here on Races and Fun. Shy Guy, uh, I'm not sure if he won on the, over on the Diecast Racing TV channel. Here comes Baby Boo on the near side, gets a lead by a wheel length. They bump into each other and Shy Guy breaks away and blocks at the end and puts up an equal time to Lakitu at 8.99. A wonderful nose block. I don't even know if it was necessary. Should have just tried to edge out a few more hundredths of a second on the time. But it ended up working out quite well. And now he's working with... Well, down a few lengths here, but gets inside line. Oh, look at the speed there. Coming through the final couple of hills. He's up by many lengths, and it's over. Shy Guy, 8.93. New best time. I mean... <laughs> I mean, dare I say it, but I wonder if we're going to be able to get as low as maybe even 8.5, even with this longer track, Luigi and Cappy. And Luigi jumps out of the gate, two lengths ahead, now three and even four through this turn. Look at the breakaway! Where's Cappy? Way in the back here. Two hills, looking good for Luigi, extremely fast, down the back straight, and pulling it to the end, starts to skid, but 
He'll be fine. 8.92. Quite fast. And these are the best of them. Cappy spins around at the end as well. There we go. Pretty straight run, so I will say we haven't seen a lot of spinning and flipping as we have at some of the other tournaments. But again, that's because it's a qu quite a straight track. This one's about speed and endurance. Here comes Luigi burning down the inside there. No problems at the end, and that will put up an 8.84, and it gets faster. I mean, it still seems a w quite a ways off, but, uh, I mean, 8.5. Imagine. Nabbit and Yoshi. We have a standard card in the sports coupe there. Yoshi breaks out of the gate nice and fast and loses that lead almost immediately. Here we go to the inside line and nabbit has got it back. Here through the short hills. Yoshi gains it back quite quickly and has an inside line to work with. Here we go. Inside. Now it's three lengths ahead. He holds the lead. Stays strong and pushing to the end. Cuts off Nabbit 9.01. A valid time. And you know Luigi in the pipe frame. Well, he did move on in the last round, too, if that was clear. I'm assuming it was implied there by all those wonderful times, but I didn't actually say it outright. Here we go. Yoshi, sports scoop, up by many lengths. Nabbit's got a chance here on the inside line. Now within half a length, but he starts to break away, and he can't catch up. 8.95. That's a good time. And there you have it. Three from Diecast Racing TV, one from Races and Fun. You'd think the main channel would bring a little bit more competition, but not so. Mushroom Kingdom, though, I didn't think put uh, any time trial data or thought into actually spreading them amongst the two channels. So it was really up in the air which channel was going to experience the faster racing. Uh, Yoshi in the sports coupe, though, still with a chance going up against quite a tough competitor, though, in Shy Guy in that B dasher. They're about even coming down the back straight. Shy Guy has it by a wheel length, closing to half a wheel, and he lost it! Nine seconds! Yoshi, good finish. Loses right at the end. But it's still based on time here. Shy Guy's got a chance if he can push it under nine seconds here and take this race. Looking pretty good. Up by a few lengths. Here we go. Yoshi over the short hill. Starts to gain back a slow lead. He's only down by a length. Now in front a length. Here we go down the back straight. But this time Shy Guy is the one accelerating. Catching up to the end. But 9.04 and not nearly enough to move on. And races and fun. Team races and fun will stay alive here. Who will... See Yoshi in the finals. Lakitu or Luigi in that pipe frame? I mean, my money's on Luigi, but um, I, mean, I could see it being any of these racers. Luigi looking slow in the pipe frame out to the short hills, but always seems to gain in the short hills. Maybe it's the aerodynamics or the weight of the cart, because he's just out in the open. And that's a 8.78. Wow. That was a good time even with the shorter track. That is quite a time. Here we go. Luigi on the near side. Way ahead already. This could be record time. Around the final turn, he's still straight and fast on the near side. Starts to zig and zag away. And 8.73. That is something else. Something else. Here we go to the finals. And it's going to be tough for Yoshi in the sports coupe, who uh, couldn't dig a really under 8.95, I think, um, or 9. So this is going to be a tough race. Luigi already pulling ahead. Now his inside line is way out ahead. Yoshi working back slowly, though, and looking pretty good into the inside line here of this hairpin. Now up by a length. Luigi faltering, accelerating, up by a couple of wheels, and there you go, 8.92. No new record, but quite a time. And even then, Yoshi's going to struggle here to pick up good time. This is the final race. Luigi the favorite here to win. Yoshi in the sports coupe on the near side here. Looking to try to put his best time he's ever put up there. Luigi, oh my god, coming so fast. Oh, he starts to skid. He's out of control. If Yoshi beats the 8.92, he's got it. And he... Well, he won't. He won't by far. 9.24. 
He, Luigi almost gave it away, but won on the previous time, and he will indeed take this one to the end. In the pipe frame, winning both Diecast Racing TV's tournament, then coming over and putting it away here on the main channel. What a finish, what a tournament! Do not forget to subscribe, check out Diecast Racing TV, and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.